Hey, what's up everyone? Brandon Hart here from the Heartbeat Studios, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to get the Polyphia guitar tone with Neural DSP's Archetype Nolly plugin. So last week I posted a video called If Skrillex Had a Guitarist and there were so many questions about the opening guitar tone and this guitar tone reminded me a lot of Polyphia's guitar tone. It was actually inspired by Tim Henson's signature guitar tone and today I thought it'd be really cool to demonstrate how I went about mixing this guitar tone. This is not a guitar tone that is spoken about enough but I just think it really packs a punch and is very unique in the way that it sounds and is carried across in the 21st century production game. So generally the way that I went about getting this guitar tone was using Neural DSP's Archetype Nolly plugin which is my go-to plugin of choice when I'm not using live amps or cabs. It feels and sounds just like the real thing and I'm really excited about how this guitar guitar tone came out. Before we jump into this, I think it's really important for me to note that I actually did leave the preset for this guitar tone in the description. It's a really cool guitar tone and I really hope you enjoy using it to your disposal. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually show you the raw guitar tone with no processing on it. So as you can tell, there's a lot of pick attack and a really nice lush, I consider it like a squishy guitar tone that I really like to hear in a lot of my mixes, especially when I'm doing anything along the lines of a clean guitar tone. It's clean enough to where it maintains the quality and the clarity of your notes, but it also has this really nice grunge to it that I really like. But to my ear, the first thing that I went about doing with this guitar tone is just controlling a little bit of that low end with FabFilter's Pro MB plugin. This is a plugin that I use almost exclusively on all of my guitar tones just to give it that extra level of control and polish. So this is kind of a preset that I like to throw at the beginning of all of my guitar chains, especially if it has a little bit of uncontrolled low end. And generally the range that I'm controlling with this plugin is between 70 and 320 hertz. And it's at its fastest attack, its fastest release, and an eight to one ratio. <laughs> The next step that I went about doing is something that I don't really see a lot of people doing, especially with clean tones, but it's something that I've started doing a lot recently. But this is just an extra step that I like to throw at the beginning of my guitar chain, just to ensure that it brings out a little bit more pick attack. And it's with the SPL Transient Designer. This is one of my all time favorite transient designers. And what I really love about this plugin, it's just got a really nice character to it when it is bringing out the pick attack or any kind of attack that you're putting on your tracks. If you're gonna use this within your mixes, it's really cool, but I really do encourage you to use your ears and you don't always have to push it as hard as I did this, but this is just an extra level just for me to be, be able to bring out that pick attack. <laughs> So the next plugin that I use is actually the API 2500. And this is actually a preset that I picked up from the great Taylor Larson. And he's done a lot of mixes for very reputable artists like Vel of Maya, Jason Richardson, Luke Holland, and various others. And the reason I really like this plugin, this is actually just another level of being able to bring out the pick attack of your guitar playing. I pretty much copied this straight from him. If you've seen his videos on especially how he mixed the Jason Richardson album, this is a preset that he actually spoke about and this has kind of become a stationary plug-in on my guitar chain that I really like to use. I really love how this sounds but again this is something that you need to use your ears at but I usually don't have any more than two to three dB of reduction. <laughs> And the next plugin that I pull up is actually the 4020 Retro plugin from Mick DSP. And usually when I wanna have a really smooth boost, this is the plugin that I use. So on this plugin, I boost 13K at about four dB. And then I boost the 1500 to 1600 Hertz range at about two dB. This just brings out a little bit more of that pick attack. For me, the 1500 and 1600 Hertz range just brings out that extra gnarliness and that extra telephone-esque vibe that allows it to cut through the mix. And then I do a little bit of a high pass at 
92 hertz, and then I do a little bit of a low pass at about 15K. This just allows a little bit of control between the low end and the high end, allows it to sit in the mix a lot better. <laughs> So the next stage of processing is actually a stage that you'll see me use a lot on my guitars. It just gives it that extra control and just allows it to pin it in place in the harsh regions. So this preset is a preset that I have talked about in the past, but it's a really great one. It's by the great Nolly Get Good. And if you want to use this preset, all you have to do is go up to the preset bank, go down to electric guitar, and you can find it right here. It's really easy to ruin your guitar tones with this plugin, but it's just a really great way of being able to bring a little bit more control and pull out some of those frequencies that might be a little bit fatiguing to the ear. And the final stage of processing in this guitar chain is just the S1 Imager by Wave, just to give it a little bit more width. And finally, we have some parallel attributes that I really like to include with my clean guitar mixes. And it's a mixture between a short reverb, a long reverb, and a delay. So for my short reverb, I actually use the Pro R by Fab Filter, and this is a really great one. And it gives you a lot of control with the internal EQ on this plugin. And honestly, a preset that I use a lot, and one that you'll probably see me use a lot on this channel, it's called Ambience for Slap Bass C. And if you wanna use this preset, all you have to do is go up to the preset bank, go down to Ambience, and you can find it right here. It's just a really great way of being able to bring a little bit more width to your guitar mixes. It just brings a really cool width and vibe to your guitar tracks. And for my long reverb, I use the incredible Valhalla Vintage Verb. Whether it be vocals, guitars, bass, sometimes I use it on my snares as a parallel reverb with my kick drums. It just has a really nice vibe to it, but it does vary from track to track depending on whatever tempo or key you're working on. But it's just a beautiful sounding reverb. And for the delays, about 99.9% of the time, I'm using the Echo Boy Jr. from Sound Toys. And generally, I just use this plugin on its default state. I leave the mix on 100% since this is a parallel attribute. I put the mode on ping pong, change it to a quarter note echo time, and I leave the feedback on 0.3. And then I use the plex mode, which emulates the classic echo plex. And then I pull the saturation up to about 6 dB. The saturation just gives it a really nice control. And the final stage of process that I did on all of these effects was actually killing everything in the middle of the stereo image at 261 hertz. This just gives it a little bit more width and kills anything in that range that's gonna make the mix super muddy. And finally, this is what the clean guitars sound like before and after all of these plugins. Bitch, I'm on that